We begin in Minnesota, where today, after weeks of buildup and anticipation, Officer Kim Potter finally took the stand in her own defense. Now, she is charged with manslaughter for the fatal shooting of 20-year-old Dante Wright. Potter was the final witness called before the defense rested its case. Now, during her testimony, the ex-officer fought through tears as she recounted that deadly confrontation and the days and weeks that followed. Do you still work as a police officer there? No. Did you quit? I did. And this was your career? Yes. And when did you quit? A day or two after the incident. And um, why did you quit? There was so much bad things happening. I didn't want my coworkers and I didn't want anything bad to happen to the city. News Nation correspondent Kelly Beeson joins us live with the latest from the courtroom today. Now, Kelly, certainly an emotional day of testimony from Potter. Yeah, it certainly was, Nicole. Potter's charged with first-degree and second-degree manslaughter. This was the first time the former Minnesota police officer publicly spoke in detail about the shooting. We were trying to keep him from driving away. It just, it just went... Chaotic. Former Minnesota police officer Kim Potter taking the stand in her own defense during an emotional testimony, maintaining she meant to draw her taser instead of her gun to stop 20 year old Dante Wright from fleeing while officers were trying to arrest him during a traffic stop on an outstanding warrant. I'm sorry it happened. <laughs> Video of the shooting recorded by officers' body cameras showed Potter shouting taser before she fired once. I remember yelling, taser, 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 and nothing happened. And then he told me I shot him. The prosecutor getting Potter to agree on cross-examination that her use of force training was a key component to being an officer. That use of force training was a pretty key component of, of being an officer, right? Yes. Um, you were trained about when you could use force, how much force to use, um, and what would be appropriate force. Fair? Fair. Potter's attorneys have argued that she made a mistake, but also would have been within her rights to use deadly force if she had meant to, because another officer was at risk of being dragged by Wright's car. I didn't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> Now, the charges require prosecutors to prove that Potter acted recklessly, caused an unreasonable risk, and consciously took a chance of causing death or great bodily harm. Neither charge requires prosecutors to prove Potter intended to kill Wright. Nicole. All right, Kelly, thank you for that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.